Hello everyone and welcome back to Test Back Tales and I actually have a tale to tell this time about something that happened but uh yeah I actually haven't been playing too much on the server though or I don't know it's kind of been busy with the release of new series so I haven't had a ton of time to work on stuff on here but I am still working at stuff but the main thing to note is the scavenger hunt so pretty much right after last episode Akatoi set up a scavenger hunt and uh if I do that you probably read it better. So, pretty much, uh, the first location was, uh, the ruin located above another ruin in Bedroom Portal in the Earth to another dimension. So, that's the stronghold, because right after the last episode, I think it was around the time of the last episode, it had some Ender Pearls in this frame here, but I told him to leave this stuff for the recording. And he also put this chest here recently. Food chest, uh, randomly dropped off food daily. Please leave unwanted ingredients. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, he did a scavenger hunt thing. Now, the thing was, originally he told me, um, I can jump really high because I have this, uh, bobble. I don't think I showed it last episode, but, uh, yeah, we still haven't updated the mod pack to fix the fall stuff. Because if you look at my boots, well, now they're regenerating. But if I take that off, it's a 2, or 828. If I jump, it goes down a lot as I fall due to the fall damage negation, which is really silly with how, I don't know. Anyway, I think I talked about that before. Anyway, so pretty much the first location was the Stronghold, because they found a Stronghold and had a floating ruin above it. The thing is, he never told me where the Stronghold was, and while he did say he did have a Hearthstone to all the locations of the Scavenger Hunt, he thought it was better just to give me Ender Pearls, and just have me find the Stronghold myself. The thing was, he was right here when I threw the Ender Pearl, it went south. So, uh, pretty much, uh, I think it's near enough by that I can just, uh, glide on over. Yeah, it's that one over there. It's decently far, but we should be able to get there quick enough. So pretty much, I've... And you can probably tell what's happening by the name of the marker. But, uh, yeah, so... I, you know, was like, okay, I'll just fly or glide along till I find the location of the stronghold. You know, they told me it was in a floating ruin above the stronghold. So, I fly down here, and eventually the Ender Pearl starts going into the ground. You'll see the location, hopefully, soon enough. The glider's not very quick. But, you know, uh, the Ender Pearl starts going in the ground. I'm like, okay, I found a stronghold. I look around, I'm like, um, there's no floating ruin here. And I, you know, asked them on team speak, and I'm like, nope, uh, there definitely was a floating ruin in quite visible from the stronghold. And I was like, uh, is the stronghold in a forest? And they're like, no, it's in a mesa. Yeah, Akatori sent me on a scavenger hunt to find the stronghold and I ended up finding a second stronghold. <laughs> so, uh, that was kind of interesting. So, pretty much we end up exploring that before returning to the scavenger hunt, and, uh, yeah, it was right down here, so... You kind of see where I had the marker. Apparently, it was... I think that's actually the hole I made to it. I would jump down, but I actually can't jump out of that. But, uh, I might as well just jump down. I can always specter out. But, uh... Okay, I think my speed's on. Yeah, it always does it when I log on the server for some reason. But, yeah, stronghold, and, oh! If you ever play with, um... Dungeon mobs, be aware. Are there any left? We cleared out a lot of them, but blade traps spawned all over this place. Like, at first it was cool. Oh, God. Which... For a second, I forgot I could one-shot and got really worried. But, yeah, there's upright spikes that spawn in pits like that. Usually with the camo blocks over them. And I just... Oh, there they are. Or here's one. A blade trap. So, if you walk in front of it... Okay, this one's not doing it. You can just mine them, though, if they're in this position, and you get a uh, redstone iron and a lot of levels. Like, I got to level 50, clearing the stronghold of most of the blade traps, and old one came and cleared a lot more, because he had an efficiency pickaxe. But, uh... Actually, I wonder if I can just find the end. It might be easier finding the end portal again than getting out of here any other way. Yeah, this was the way to the... Uh, portal, so I'll probably just use that to exit, but if I come down here, yeah, there's blade traps everywhere. And they shouldn't damage me too much, but, uh, they come to life and fly towards you. Like that. So, they're really annoying to deal with, and you have to mine them, but when there's multiple people, and not always cooperating, it can get really dangerous. And I think, actually, yeah, I actually went down the other way of the staircase, like, uh, over here, and I was like... Nope, and I just dug over to where old one was, and Akatori, and I think it was over here where- Ah, oh, darn. The spikes don't hurt me that much into my high protection armor, but yep, this was the second end portal, technically. So, let me just, uh, go through the end- Huh. Yes, emergency pumpkins. But, uh, they already killed the dragon, so no big deal there. Or at least, that much to really show. And I, uh- Oh, I meant to actually put on my speed so I could just run over to the portal. But, uh, yeah. 
I don't know. I could farm Ender Pearls here, but we already have a lot of Ender Pearls now, and I just need Nebulous Hearts, if anything. But I think I have enough to make the items I'm interested in. And, oh, that's not good. Huh? What? Okay, but I actually meant to say this for later on. Oh, God, Akator is out there. But, uh, I'll come back to this in a second. Because this is the new base thing I've been working on. Oh, duh. The thing is, uh, we have no Nausea mod, which changes Nausea to mess up your left and right. So I suddenly went right back on that. But, uh, hopefully you didn't see me. So, anyway. Let me pull out my map here. So, that was where the stronghold actually was. I get there, and it says to go to... I think it was the end portal. Although it made it seem like the end. So I had to go down the stronghold to the end portal. Then it was off way out here to an island that we found when exploring. And once again, he had all these on his hearthstone. So it's just like teleporting back around the hearthstones, really. And I think that's where it ended. And I had the stuff in uh, my new base, which I'm working on. It's currently kind of not good. And also, Akatori worked on building an arena out here, which is actually kind of cool, so we'll check that out later. But, uh, yeah, that was a strong, or the scavenger hunt. Kind of a failure, because, uh, yeah, he, uh, sent me to the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I found it was kind of amusing, and it's just kind of funny, because they threw their ender pearl from this village as well. Like, from that side of the village. And I threw it from, like, here. So this village was, like, perfectly between two strongholds. Actually, let's just look at the map and see how between it was. So, yeah. Stronghold 1, Stronghold 2, and the village is near directly between two strongholds. So it is kind of funny. And, of course, Akatori didn't realize it flew south or wasn't paying enough attention. So he couldn't correct me and say, wait, that's the wrong direction. But I think he's trying to grapple me. He got a grappling hook now, too, which is kind of annoying. I think I showed how that works in the last episode, and it's really overpowered. Do I still have my magnet on? No, apparently not. Uh, home. There we go. Might as well just harvest more sugar cane. But, uh, yeah. Yep, he's grappling about. I did tell him I was recording. I almost didn't want to tell him, because I feel like if I didn't tell him, he might not bother me as much. <laughs> but, uh, I actually just found a trap of his, so I thought it was best to tell him, so we tried not to yeah. Hello. Anyway, uh, I need to get iron doors on this place. But, uh, yeah, so this is my new base. I think I commented on it before, and this was Akatori's trap. So, actually, for a while now, since he visited one time, I noticed I kept hearing, like, a splash potion every time I used this. And at first, I thought maybe it was an infernal mob stuck in the wall, because it did turn nine, there were a lot of infernal mobs around, and thought maybe an alchemy one was somewhere nearby. Well, uh, it happened again, and I decided, okay, I have to come back and figure out what's going on. And there was, uh, oh, I put down here, a dark steel pressure plate, which is camouflaged. So I broke that, and then I broke the block below it, and I found red alloy wire, which apparently runs over here. And up to that very obvious dispenser. In retrospect, I probably should have picked up on that. I have no idea what was in it, though, because, um, yeah, but... It's actually kind of annoying now I had to fix this whole wall. Although I might have got rid of it anyway. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is the area where I'm going to build the Adventurer's Guild headquarters and my new base. And, uh, I don't think I came all the way out here last time. But, uh, it's, a uh, way out here. Or, actually, this is spawn. This is the area I'm in now. So, I can't zoom out anymore to show you, but it's pretty far away. Uh, I probably could find the waypoints of... I don't think I have spawn as a, do I, mob cave, ah, uh, spawn, so it's about 2,500 blocks away. Yeah. I don't know, it's a pretty cool looking area, and I just kind of used cobble to give you guys an outline of kind of what I'm going for, because actually what happened is I decide, okay, I'm going to build here, and I set the portal, and then I realized I'm just kind of having builder's block. I can't figure out how I want to build it. Like, I want to build a cool base, but it's just like, uh, I don't know what I want to do now. <laughs> But one thing I did think was having two bases and just having a bridge between them. I don't know, this is meant to be like the guild headquarters and not just my personal base in a sense. So I want it to be a bit grander than just a personal base. And, you know, there's the extreme hills over here. You might not be able to see it that well, but here's extreme hills. So I thought, okay, how about the edge of this? I build a rather decent sized tower. And, uh, I don't have enough dirt to fill it in. And, 
And then I'll have a bridge connecting the tower over here to this side of the base. And uh, this will be like a massive area, multi-levels. Like there's going to be an upper portion and it probably won't just be a giant oval. Like one part will probably rise higher than the other. And I don't know, I want to make it kind of have a bit of a modern and interesting look. And like uh, here's the area where... Uh, Oh, he threw a nausea potion, that jerk. Anyway. Probably not a bad idea to get more knowing him. But, uh, yeah, this wall wasn't originally here. I kind of just shaped around, like, I think it ended here, and then it was just a giant opening. But, uh, because my bed and such is, uh, right through here. Oops, that was my do not use on the portal. I wonder if I can get Akatori to walk in it by mistake. <laughs> Let's actually see if I can do that. Uh, I'll explain what that portal goes to in a second. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of just uh, made a rough wall just so I didn't have mobs walking in. I can have a more fortified base-like thing. And this portal currently goes nowhere, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Okay, he left. Darn. But uh, this portal, the reason I was almost hoping he'd accidentally walk into it because I got for the sign is because uh, this goes to my Spectre Dimension. Now the thing is, if you go to someone else's Spectre Dimension, it teleports you to your Spectre Dimension. So if you don't have a portal out of your Spectre Dimension, which I think everyone does now because they knew this is a possibility. Like I think that's Old One's portal and I think I see one over there for Akatori. Uh, pretty much I've been using... Uh, I could pick it up, but I really don't want to. Uh, stained clay. I can pick up the other one and kind of show you, I guess. And I probably should have repaired that wall. Just in case the skeleton wants to come in. But, uh, yeah. I've been using, uh, see, this one's a lime. And it needs a color for a water bucket, which you only can find in dungeons. They can either come full or just, like, uh, it doesn't show me, actually. Let me just search real quick. Uh, color. Um... Well, that's a mod. I'm not seeing the other stuff. Oh, that's weird. Should be showing all of it. But pretty much you can make it out of wool, clay, or glass. And pretty much I started doing clay and thankfully no one else on the server did clay. So I guess clay is kind of like my type of block for the portals and they're using glass. And I don't know, there's only three of us so far. So it should be pretty easy to split all these colors and materials. But uh, I'm not sure why it's uh not showing the other buckets. Weird. But, uh, pretty much you find a colorful bucket without the, um, stuff in it, uh, without the water already in it. And you have to put a water bucket and a whole bunch of dyes around it and then right to craft it into a bucket of dyes. Then right click and spend a few levels to turn into a colorful water bucket that you use to craft the portals. But, uh, yeah, this one will go to the other base. Pretty much this goes to the... Uh, village outpost for the guild and this will go to the Mesa outpost. So pretty much my idea and it doesn't show my map because I'm underground. That's really annoying. Oh, hello. Huh, that's a lot of bad stuff. But uh, so if I just uh, zoom out here. So pretty much I have uh, the village one, but I also was considering building stuff in the Mesa. So I thought Instead of having the headquarters there, I can just have a whole bunch of guild outposts. Like, let's say maybe here or even someplace around here or maybe here, I can build another smaller outpost like having the village for the guild. And pretty much the idea is that the guild will be located at spawn and various other locations around the world where there's like unload chunks of new areas to explore. So, I mean, this is really far out. Uh, once again, it's... Not showing me because I'm not outside. That's the one thing I dislike about Journey Map. Oh god, these guys are actually tough. Ow. But yeah, I actually was a bit worried there. I remember fighting them before and they're a lot tougher than a zombie anyway. But I mean like, uh, let's try and just get back over here. Like, I haven't explored these chunks and I don't think anyone else has as well. So, you know, like I could even have another one up here in the jungle and I don't know. Just the idea of having a whole bunch of portals like little guild outposts, kind of almost like rest house, rest houses people can use. But um, yeah, so that's uh, kind of what's going on in my base situation. I really want to improve this, make it look nicer and that sort of stuff. But uh, at the moment, it's just kind of living in this cave here and I need to clean up that stuff as well. But I don't know. I do plan to move the stuff out of the Spectre and into my, like, I don't know, I guess, I, like, in the guild headquarters, I just kind of have a room, and a lot of the other stuff would be, like, guild utilities, in a sense, although they might be, like, more private then and not, like, public. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, I still have the outline to 
I don't know. It's a really big outline. It's a really big area to cover. And I also plan to go, like, into underground regions. So, pretty much, I was thinking, like, uh, for, like, here, there'll be a glass. Ah. Like, glass coming down, you know, a nice little outdoorsy area. And then this would be, like, the entrance to the underground portions. And out here, you know, I could have a giant farm, maybe, and fence off this area. Like, you know, over here between the cliffs and over here between the cliffs and make this, like, a giant farm and wildlife area sort of thing or something. And then I have the tower over here. I'm not sure what's going to be in it, but there'll be a tower and then a bridge connecting it to, the, like, the main headquarters base there and make it look really nice. And then underground portion. I probably will replace this with a glass wall, too. Actually, if I head back out, I can give you a better idea what I mean. Like, around the edge of this going down, this will probably all just be a glass wall. And I don't know. I have a lot of ideas. It's just I've been having trouble putting them into, like, a build I know like I have a lot of ideas but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do where it makes it hard for me just to build it so uh yeah and also back to the scavenger hunt uh this was the prize at the end of scavenger hunt Akator had this chest here and it has a decent amount of stuff a whole bunch of torches and you know some diamonds some uh interesting uh stuff from the mods some potions I wonder if he took there probably was a potion there wasn't there I think that's the one he put in the dispenser probably or he just took it and threw it at me when I was here. I don't know. Let's put the pressure plate there as a reminder. But, uh... Huh, oh, that's weird. That's really weird. I thought I had Akatori, but I cannot put a... Yeah, those slots are, like, dead. I don't know. I don't know. It does have the, a few useful items in here, or the items that could be useful, so... Eh. It was a nice little uh, gesture of the scavenger hunt. It just didn't work out quite as he planned, but it was fun, or I appreciate the effort anyway. So, uh, yeah, but we head back here, and we can head through Akatori's base to the arena. So I at least want to show that off. I'm not sure if anyone's around to actually fight at the arena, but, uh, he really needs to label these hearthstones. Personally, I prefer the colorful portals, but look how many he has. I don't even know what's going on there. And also, apparently they have this new building, I guess, for cooking stuff. I don't know. And, yeah, that's old ones. I'm not sure if much has changed. I really haven't been here much to really commentate on what's changed, though. I don't know. I guess they also have a new thing over here. I have a feeling that's a building I don't want to enter. <laughs> Just because of how it's set up. Like, it's going to be a spawner and, you know, flick that lever and tons of stuff spawns to kill you sort of thing. But, uh, there we go. The arena is actually pretty close by from here, so I should be able to get back easily. I don't think he set up a hearthstone to it, though. Yeah, that could be a bit of an issue. But, uh, he kind of uh, made this for, like, a kit PvP sort of thing. So, like, if you want to just fight someone, you can do it in the... Oh, he has a colorful portal out here. A lot of mobs. Oh, God. Get me over here. Okay, so the chest here has, like, a whole bunch of different weapons. Apparently, it might have got unsorted. I don't know. But, uh, oh, they actually colored the weapons. That's cool. Because we can, uh, paint the weapons with random things. And let's just make sure none of the creepers are sneaking up. Okay. But, uh, I don't know. So we have iron chain. Chain's actually very good due to bow overhaul changing it. So, uh, it's actually more durable than iron, as you can see. A lot more durable than iron. And it makes you draw bows better due to bow overhaul. I forget if I mentioned that at all. Bow overhaul kind of changes bows. I think they deal less damage at close and better at range. And, like, there's headshots to do, like, almost one-hit things. And it changes how armors work. Like, they lower your draw speed unless they're the bow overhaul armors or chain. Let me just search it real quick. But, uh, yeah, you can make a studded leather. So, leather, chain, and, uh, studded leather all work with bows. Stud leather is equivalent to iron with more durability and yeah, stud leather is iron and more durability. Chain has more durability but weaker than iron. Leather is the same. Or I don't know, maybe it has more durability. Uh oh. God, that was only a concussion creep or Akatori would probably kill me. But uh, yeah. So he has all these different weapons. I think I already mentioned we have Balkans but he colored this red and uh yeah, it's a pretty cool looking arena. Has a beacon in the center, although it's kind of colored due to my marker being on the beacon. Which kind of looks cool, kind of looks a bit weird. I assume this side has the same for blue. Yep. Ow. You probably should have put a fence around these areas, though. 
But, uh, yeah, actually, I think that's really all I had to show this episode. Just wanted to kind of uh, talk about the scavenger hunt, uh, show what's going on with my base, and uh, show the arena, and a quick little tour of Akatori Old Ones area. Here we go! That grappling was so overpowered. But, uh, yeah, so... Hopefully you enjoyed the second episode of this uh, Test Pack Tales series. Uh, hopefully by next episode I'll have a bit more done with the Adventurer's Guild Headquarters stuff so uh, I can show that off because, uh, yeah, I know it's been a busy week and I really haven't been on the server much, but, um, I don't know, I'm happy with the location. There's just a lot to really do to make this whole uh, vision of reality for, you know, the building outline here. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and uh, yeah, until next time, goodbye.